Welcome to Fresh Picked Farmhouse. Today's DIY is this adorable farmhouse style cake stand. For this DIY, I picked up a silver platter from the Dollar Tree. On clearance at Hobby Lobby, I found this decorative foot that's for furniture and my glue. So to start this project, I just grabbed my platter, found the center, and that sticker on there, well, I couldn't get that thing off, so I just left that on there. Even with goo gone, it still wouldn't come off. So I take my adhesive glue. This is 9001, similar to E6000. So I just put that in the center of the decorative furniture foot. Now this glue takes a while to cure. So I'm going to use my hot glue just to help secure it in place while the adhesive glue dries. So you can see I just take my hot glue and I'm just going to do a small bead of hot glue just around that adhesive glue because hot glue we know dries really quick but hot glue would not be sufficient for this project because it would just pop off. It would not hold. So we need the combination of the two. So the hot glue to help hold it while the other glue cures and, and dries. So after you found the center, you just put that decorative foot right in the center. And I just put a little bit of firm pressure on there just to make sure that it adhered to the little platter. So give it a few seconds to dry. You'll see a little bit of excess glue. So I just took my finger and just gently got any of that excess glue off. Again, just making sure we're keeping firm pressure to adhere that glue. Of course, there's always those little pesky hot glue strings. And then just flip over your little cake stand. And there you have it. So I painted the cake stand with a base layer of Waverly brand chalk paint in the color Elephant. This is a beautiful gray color. After that dried, I just came back with the color Plaster, again, Waverly brand chalk paint from Walmart, and I just did a dry brush technique. So you can see I'm not putting a lot of paint on my brush, and after I load some paint on my brush, I just kind of dab it on that plate just to get any extra off, and I don't load a lot of extra paint as I'm painting. There's no rhyme or reason to my method here. I'm just kind of going back and forth in all different directions because we want this to have a farmhouse feel so we're not looking for full coverage. We're just going to go around and just dry brush all over. This is the bottom of the platter so we're not going to focus too much there. But we do want to get that covered because we want a, a nice finished look. So after you have covered the bottom and getting all those little nooks and crannies there, Just continue to spin that around and get all those little areas. Every time I say nooks and crannies, it makes me want one of those Thomas's English muffins or whatever they were called. Y'all remember that commercial? He was like getting the butter and all the little nooks and crannies. Anyway, so now we're moving on to the decorative foot. So again, just use that dry brush technique. Just go back and forth. Kind of just get crazy with it again. There is no method to the madness. Just go in different directions. Again, we're not going to load a lot of paint on our brush. And this gives it a nice rustic finish. And that way we can see that beautiful elephant gray color just show through. So then you're going to flip over your little cake stand and you'll see some areas that you missed because when you're painting it upside down and you flip it over, you'll see the whole other side that you couldn't see when you were painting. So I just kind of held it in my hand and again, just taking my brush and going all different directions. You can see I'll end up wearing a lot of this paint, but that's okay. I usually wear most of my craft projects. I don't know about y'all, but like all of my comfy clothes and pajamas somehow turn into paint clothes. Like I have paint on all of my pajamas and all of my like lounge clothes or like bleach stain. 
just like you can see right there on my sleeve. So again, just continue painting. Not loading a lot of paint and just continue going in all different directions. So this is turning out really cute. So now I'm making sure I get the top of that little decorative furniture foot. So I think these are intended for like ottomans or even like a sofa. And I couldn't believe I found them on clearance to like $1.43. So y'all always check the clearance at Hobby Lobby. You never know what you're going to find. And they only had three. So I grabbed three and I thought, well, I can make three something. And so then I had this idea, well, why don't we make it into a cute little cake stand? So that's what I did. So after you paint that little decorative foot, we're going to go to the top of the platter. And again, just use that dry brush technique. Don't want to load a lot of paint on your brush. And just go crazy with it and just do some little swirly swirls and some cross hatch motions and again just be creative because you want it to have that farmhouse feel and the good thing about the farmhouse feel is things aren't perfect which I love because Lord knows I ain't perfect we try but mm -mm. so again just keep on painting all different directions get the edge and you can start to see the little design on the edge of that platter so the contrast between the two colors really brings that out So I wish I knew how to make like the music play while I was doing like these boring parts. So y'all, I'm still working on this video editing. I promise I'll get it. Just stick with me. Y'all have been awesome. Very supportive and I appreciate it so much. Like I said, I know how to craft, but when it comes to this video editing, not my department. But we're getting there. So again, just continue just going all over the place. Just getting crazy with that chalk paint back and forth all different directions because we want it to look worn we don't want a perfect paint job for sure and that's what I love about chalk paint and you can see those little areas that are still showing through so this is the first coat I do go back with a second coat just to touch up I didn't want to bore y'all with that whole video so this is the main portion of me painting to give that farmhouse feel And here I'm just focusing on the edges, just putting more paint in certain areas. So this was a fun, simple project. And again, I got this platter at the Dollar Tree, this little decorative foot at Hobby Lobby. So that's like $2.50, the paint I already had. So just for a few dollars, I was able to make this cute little cake stand. Now, what I don't have is the cake to go on the cake stand, but that's okay. We're just going to throw some cute little spring decorations on there and put it on our table anyway. Maybe one day we'll put a cake on there, but I am not a baker. Crafter, yes. Baker, no. So I'll have to go buy me a cake to put on this cake stand. But I have a friend that has a bakery, so maybe I can just get her to make me a cake. There we go. So that is looking cute. So you can see the little rustic vibe I've got going on there. Got some of that gray showing through. So that's looking awesome. So here is the finished project and I love it. Y'all will have to let me know what y'all think. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more DIYs. Thanks y'all.